Well, howdy, howdy, howdy. Nearly senior citizen here. Greetings, boys and girls. And welcome to this. Oy vey. Ah, yeah. Ah. Yeah, and yeah, it's that good. Hokey smokes. I, I went walkies yesterday, and that was fine. And I went to the store because I had to go to the store because I was really low on food. I, I'd been eating my way through stuff. I still had things, but you know, I was out of chili and I was out of a whole bunch of stuff. So I went to the store last night, but before that, I made that a part of my walkies. So I took the extra add a mile to the walk loop through Southern Shelton down to downtown Shelton. And I walked like two, three miles downtown and then stopped at the store and came back so it worked out well. I got exercise in and and things are good. And I got a little bit of extra food, as I said, and things worked out well that way. A very, very good thing. I got really, really tired because I didn't sleep well the night before. And so I went to bed a little early for me. Oh, excuse me. Mm. Carbonated beverage time. And so... I went to bed a, a little bit early. Not a lot, just a little. But once again, about 12.30, snapped awake. And not only snapped awake, was having heat-based anxiety because it was just too hot, too hot. And all I had on was a sheet and a fleecy blanket. So it wasn't really that hot but I was having heat-based anxiety from that. So after trying to cool down, but I was either way too hot or way too cold, I just got up. It was close to one o'clock, I got up. And so I came in here and I watched videos till about three o'clock in the morning when I was tired enough. Cause I, I mean, not tired enough, sleepy enough, cause I was tired, but my body was awake. So, came in here and just watched videos. And at three o'clock, I was finally sleepy enough. Went back to bed. Took a while to fall asleep. Managed to do so. Didn't have my alarm set, but 5.30 in the morning, pain-related insomnia. Woke up from hurting. Couldn't lay in bed anymore. So up at 5.30. <sighs> I am very tired. <laughs> In my voice box is such that making various sounds like that, when I'm getting close to needing to cough, everything just collapses. Thumbs up for that. So it's been pretty joyous. I'm very, very tired. I actually turned on my PlayStation and I have my actual webcam thing working here properly. So uh, at least I've got that functioning well. And I always do a sound check on my microphone every morning to make sure that's functioning. I have to all the time now, thanks Windows 10, check my sound properties so I can check the microphone so I can check the recording levels because I will come in here on one day and it'll be at a hundred percent and then I'll shut down properly and then I'll start it up properly and then take a look at it because I just have a feeling because lately it's been doing that check and with no issues nothing happened it's gone from 100 to 84 so that if I was recording without checking it I'd go from talking like this and you being able to hear me to suddenly I'm talking like this and I gotta figure out how to crank up the volume so thanks I don't know why it keeps doing that but joy Oh, my sinuses. Mmm, pollen. Mmm, seasonal allergies. Mmm, weed cough. Joy. <laughs> As another slight aside, if...
Young is watching this, I'm sorry. Has had bad things happen. My, I have no ideas what, but my sincere apologies and here's hoping things go well. Thumbs up on that for, for everybody and everything. Past that, not much at all. I've just been doing thinking because when out walking, you know, you can't do much else but think. And so while a lot of the time I'm just in white noise between station static thinking, a lot of the time I also do some of my deeper thinking on like the cosmic horror pantheon and all that while walking. <coughs> it really allows me to get some in-depth thinking in. And since now I actually can think, because just a few years back, it was such that I could do maybe one thought and I would have to keep running through that one thought during the entire walk, because I would think about it and then forget, and then struggle to remember and then think about it and then forget, and then struggle to remember and then think about it and forget. So one subject could keep me going for an entire four mile walk, but now I can think about things and remember things. And that is a really, really awesome thing. And if I wouldn't be able to do that if it hadn't been for my starting up this channel and then vlogging so that my brain started to function properly again so I could go to therapy, continue talking, and have my brain come back to life as it has been. I am a talker. I've been a talker my whole life. Not being able to talk during the collapse of my wife's health i had no one to talk to but her and since she was the one that it was happening to i didn't want to deal with the subject it was horrifying and then after she died i literally had no one to talk to so everything was clogging up here if it hadn't been for my channel i would have never been able to start therapy without therapy i never would have recovered to the point where i am now <coughs> thank you each and every one of you so very very much those of you that watch the videos those of you that helped me out in any way i have been coming back to life and it is an incredible feeling thank you all so very very much it is greatly appreciated 100 percent but as stated i have been trying to think on various things one of the things i was trying to think of is in my cosmic horror pantheon, the way I have the multiverse again, our, our multiverse split with the people in the infinite city that evacuated in ours and fought in the other offshoot spawn. <clears throat> I've been thinking of them because since, well, it's all metaphor every, anyway, all stories are canon, well, you can't just ignore that. That's canon too. So, I've been trying to think of what the humanized version of a Seder a Sea talking to Amagaratsu to try and make her stop fighting because the casualties have been terrible. Since, in this split off version after all you have to remember there's the infinite uh, city not abandoned yet Amagaratsu shows up and actually impacts into digs into and starts fighting from that spot where she impacts into the city no one's ever been able to do that she is the Gakira the most powerful Except in that universe, that multiverse, not universe, they're able to fight her off and kill several of her children. And so I figure it's something along the lines of a satyr C goes into the control room because in the humanized versions thereof, Amagaratsu is somewhere, she's very, very tall but not so gaunt that she's gaunt. She's thin, but tall, very white skin, raven black hair, 
And that's Amagaratsu, the mother of all of these cosmic horrors out there. But when a satyr seed comes to say, you need, you need to stop after the deaths of all of our siblings, we can't keep fighting. I have told my siblings to leave and I am coming to tell you we need to stop. And she just says something along the lines of, I started fighting, you know, as she starts shutting things down, I started fighting so that I could have a place to give birth. Because when she arrived, she was heavy with child. After all, she gave live birth to her 12 children, the Cosmic Horror Pantheon. And then afterward, she fought to provide her newborns with a place of safety. And then she fought to provide them with safety to grow. And then she fought to give them a place after she was gone, now that she was mature. So things started to change, the whole impact. And then she recruited her children to fight. And now two of them are dead, two of them are gone forever. Several of them have shown themselves to be completely unreliable. And a satyr a sea is there to say, you need to stop fighting, mother. And so she does. She shuts down her control room, tells Satyr C to tell its siblings to gather up what they, what they want, because once they leave, they can never come back, and they leave the city. They go off, have to split up by necessity into any individual universe that pleases them, and then they have to work from there. And so Amagaratsu is no longer the Gakira. And she has to talk with her children and tell them, you know, I am no longer the Gakira. I am just one of a handful now of Gakiru. And you, my children, are all judged in power by my relative power level. You are no longer on Gakira. You are one of the many Gakiri. downgraded but most of them don't mind because after all of their their viewpoint is the people of the city were protecting their homes why wouldn't they fight yeah two of their siblings got killed but they were invading the the, the city we were invading the people's homes. Of course they fought. Now that's not what they all think. Some of them, one or two, are completely in Amagaratsu's court. So they all have individual personalities that way. But over there, Haki and Gatsi Ray have both taken off, left forever, gone. They just said, screw this noise, once their two siblings were murdered. And it was Erogatz and Jima Ray, two of the most intellectual, least able to fight. Because after all, Jima Ray is just, well, in this multiverse, was just a giant slime mold, basically. Except more of a fungal body gathered up that way. And Erogatz, a very in the humanized version, extremely obese individual who wouldn't be able to move quickly and couldn't and didn't. And they dragged him out of his cave and killed him. But hey, they were protecting their homes. Something you gotta do. So I've been working on stuff. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I've been working on stuff and thinking at least trying to keep the circuits working as best I can, and that is a very good thing. Definitely a thumbs up. Speaking of thumbs up and coming over to the second camera, hopefully I'll have everything functioning properly. Definitely a thumbs up on that. I've opened up 24 hours worth of comments my community tab, and this time I actually have opened up 24 hours. Yesterday I had, and it was like, oops, and I had to do it all as I was talking. But this time I have, and opened it all up. 
I'm going to thank 20 to 25 people for having left me a comment. I'm not reading the comments right now. I'm just thanking you for having left a comment. If I mispronounce a username, no disrespect is intended. I'm an American English speaker, and even though I count an American Sign Language on the fingers of this hand with my depression, fibro, insomnia, and being so frickin' tired, I'm amazed I can remember anything at all. So I'm gonna try my best. Oy vey. So, let me call it my chroma. And we have Logan McGee. Thumbs up and thank you. And Mad Laughter, I like the name. Thumbs up. CIAT, greatly appreciated. Clark Kent, greatly appreciated. Then we have Confused Owl 29. Thumbs up and thank you. Kathy Kitzkite, good to see you in the comments. Denial, thumbs up. We have Quay, greatly appreciated. Colin Reisenauer, thumbs up and thank you much. We have Elder World 569, greatly, greatly appreciated. Russian timing, best of luck, my friend. Timoth Tiffany, Tiffany Jones, greatly appreciated. Stolo, thumbs up and thank you. Rachel Benson, greatly appreciated. We have Donkey Clone, thumbs up and thank you. Sebastian Ferris, greatly appreciated. Made in CDA, I sure hope I'm close with the pronunciation. Denial, thumbs up and thank you. We have Krista Herondale, thumbs up and thank you very much. Conspo Lopez, Good to see you in the comments as well. CXPA Maine, thumbs up and thank you. Of ASAEL, A S A E L 03, greatly appreciated. There is Jesus, thumbs up and thank you. And Aaron Judge, greatly appreciated. And last but not least, D24 exists. Thumbs up and thank you all so very, very much. You get me back to the other camera. Make sure I'm centered out of my head, into the world, dealing with real people. It is appreciated to no end. Thumbs up and thank you so very much. If you watch to the end, or at least even this far, thank you so very, very much. The bulk of the people that watch my vlog just stop after like three minutes. So if you watch this far, greatly, greatly appreciate it. <coughs> If you could, check out my various links. I have Twitter, Facebook, GoFundMe, Patreon.com. If you could, donate to my GoFundMe campaign or become a Patreon.com patron like one of these beautiful and awesome people. That would be beautiful and awesome. Now, if you'd like to help me out but you don't want to send money to one of those two places, I have a PayPal link down below. That would be very cool if you check that out. And if you wanted to help me out but you didn't want to send money at all, I have an Amazon wish list link down below as well with things like cat food, hamster food, hamster bedding, silly things, not silly things. If you could donate to my GoFund. Wow, that was incredibly odd the way I just looped back to the beginning. If you could check that out, that would be very cool. But do not feel obligated i do not feel entitled and if you cannot donate or you simply do not donate i have to laugh at myself the way i loop back to the beginning there that was just amazing i take all good wishes and i deposit them in the bank of my heart where i draw interest so thank you very much if you could toss me a like i appreciate <coughs> all the positive validation i get from my existence a definite thumbs up and of course if you could subscribe to the channel and <coughs> hit that bell that would be very cool and greatly appreciated a definite thumbs up i would understand if you did not wish to but if you are down with it i will do my very best to keep you entertained from now until the literal end of time thumbs up on that back to the main camera off my ps4 i'm gonna be very sad the day that dies this is like old <laughs> it's an old ps4 thumbs up on that anyway though thumbs up on that yeah so i've got this video i've got another video coming up maybe i mean i don't have anything at all ready in in the slightest yesterday i had therapy so i couldn't do anything for my game channel i was just i did not feel comfortable doing anything so i didn't which means i have to record something with this channel and then something for the game channel which means i'd just be recording and editing but i don't think i have time for all that especially the way and how tired i am so probably not going to have anything for the game channel today but we shall see so you take care have a great day today I will see you on the flip side, my friend, and that is a very good thing. Definitely a thumbs up. Now, I'm going to get that changed again here very soon, but still, that's very true, and that's why I don't worry about keeping these up more than just one day. Take care, and I will see you, my friend.